Beyond the Young at Art exhibition, which this gallery is now renowned for, the founder, Mr. Biodun Omolayo, is also an artist, and he has decided to show off his recent body of works at his silver exhibition, which took place there. Peaceful. Reflections of serenity. Island of black gold. Ayo play. Old Oshudi. Rainbow Child, Mama Poot, Shekere Players are just part of the over 30 works of art painted by contemporary artist Biodu Omolayo and exhibited at his gallery in Lagos. As an artist, I love colors a lot. I, very vibrant colors. And then when you're talking about peace, I, have, I, I use green most of the time. The color of vegetation, color of peace as well, color of nature. I use green most of the time because I paint mostly uh, landscapes and, and seascapes and waterscapes as well. We, when you look at some of my landscape paintings, they look very refreshing. You, you, you imagine you being in that kind of environment, being in the place and then getting refreshed. So I use green most of the time. And then when I'm doing my abstract, I use a lot of um, vibrant colors as well, yellow, um, red, and even um, blue. I mix them together. If you look around, I, I, I do a whole lot of, um, a lot of works that you can see in different, a lot of them, I, I experiment with a lot of the works. For instance, when I, as I'm using acrylic, um, if you look at some of the, for instance, this, I call it acrylic splash. I, I experiment with it, the polo player. After painting and then I want to do something different, I, I splash acrylic there, and then this is what uh, came out from, from that. And then if you look at some of my, um, some of my landscape as well, they are very texturized. I use a lot of, I use a lot of um, uh, dried acrylics. Instead of throwing them away, I scrape them and use them on the painting as well to achieve a texture. So I have so much offering for people to, to pick from. He's doing it for a good cause as well, to preach peace and unity in the country using the tools of his trade. For one to be able to be creative, whether as an artist or a business owner, or, or whatever you are engaging, you can only thrive in an atmosphere of peace. We can't be fighting and then in the midst of insecurity, you can't say you, don't, you, won't, you, won't, you won't have peace of mind to do anything. It's only when there is peace, when the environment is calm, Everybody will be able to do whatever he or she wants to do. You can run your business well. You can, the family can be together, but not when we're having a wars, killings all over the place, and then families are displaced. We're having uh, ID camps all over the place, and then we, we're having refugees, even in, in our own country. But what I'm saying now is that please take your minds off these insecurities, the fighting, the killings all over the place, and then let's focus and let's see how we can achieve peace together as, as, um, as, as a, a people with, with um, um, same destiny. The paintings, which are mostly rendered in acrylic and oil on canvas, with few mixed media, were done between 1987 and 2019, exploring subjects like the serene land and seascapes, flora and faunas, festivals, abstracts, and commercial activities in the country. I've only been exhibiting my works for some time, and then, but most of the works that I put together here are works that span over 30 years. But I have some works that I did in 1987, shortly after service, and they are part of what. People have not even seen some of those works. They're here. Even before I went to the Yaba College of Technology, I had done some works, even after service. I kept them, but I'm just bringing them up for the first time now. Even when I had my first exhibition in 2004, some of those works were, now, were not exhibited. So they are part of this um, exhibition right now. I've known him for years, and uh, I, I see in him uh, a creative person that God has endowed from heaven. Um, if you have heard his story, he resigned as a banker of repute, as a manager in the bank, uh, to go into this uh, profession, uh, to follow his passion. And, uh, you know, he has come of age. Um, you know, he has been uh, a blessing not only to 
the profession, but to the work of art, not only in Nigeria, but even um, across the shore of this nation. The bigger conversation the paintings raise is the need to protect the environment and the ecosystem, which is suffering from air pollution. But this comes at a time when the country is having some security challenges, so it becomes an issue of priorities. Uh, if you look around today, you can see all the beautiful paintings, all the you know, creativity uh, par excellence, uh, bringing something out of nothing, depicting you know, the, the work of God. Uh, you know, the Bible says, you know, oh Lord my God, well I'm in awesome wonder. I consider the work of your hand. Um, you know, if we will uh, use arts, you know, because I can hear him saying the, the, the theme of this exhibition is peace, okay? Um, we, we can use the work of art to preach peace in this nation, especially at this critical moment in our country where um, it seems that we are, uh, there's crime, crime has been on the increase, uh, people are dying on a daily basis, and uh, mm -hmm. it seems the, the solution is not in the sight. But I see this exhibition as a message for the hour that we need peace as a nation to progress. We need peace as individual to be creative and to be productive. Because we've heard so much about killings here and there, insecurity all over the place. But I want to just give people things to look at, to take their minds off uh, the troubled area of Lagos and then concentrate and then look at it and say, look, you can, for this moment, enjoy this peaceful offering and then take your mind off all the violence, the killings, the insecurity all over the place. And that's where we put this one together. God has given us each other to enjoy, not to endure, to kill or to maim. Uh, it is hatred and ethnic animosity that leads us to where we are as a nation. But I see as this exhibition as a prophetic message for the whole country. For the artist, this means without peace, a nation cannot develop as it will have a domino effect on productivity and creativity. Next week on Art House, we'll be stepping out of the commercial city of Lagos to show you what artists are doing in their neck of the woods. We we'll begin from the nation's capital, Abuja, where a group of thespians are performing a play which tells the story of the legendary princess of Igala land, Iniqui sacrifice itself to save her people. Maybe it is not yet the wish of our ancestors to test your wants. Ah, but your highness, my man can hardly wait. In fact, I am better to serve you than to my parents. If I knew our best season, my daddy still refused to fall. Then we head to the southeast, Anambra State to be precise, for the second EJ Art Annual Exhibition titled Culture, where about 15 artists participated. It's actually being done by young people, so it's very inspiring because of that. So, join us again. The curtain falls on the program, but as usual, we're expecting to hook up with you online. And we can't stop re-emphasizing the need for you to go to any of our social media platforms. No matter where you are in the world, all the videos of Art House are right there for your viewing pleasure. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a great day.